Hello everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe from Monroe World and today we are going to be showing you two different products to give you access to your mobile device while you're on your Windows 10 PC. So a lot of people may ask, well, why do I want that? Why do I need access to my phone while I'm working on my computer? Well, a lot of us are working from home these days and there's still lines of communication such as uh, SMS, MMS, um, and other tools that we've come to rely on here on our phone that would be really nice if we had access to while using our computers. We're not constantly picking up our phone to check for alerts, check for notifications. And so what I have here is the Samsung S10. And so I thought we would take a look at the S10 as it's being used by Microsoft's Your Phone app inside of Windows 10, as well as using Samsung's built-in DeX, which is its own sort of desktop operating system designed to give you a full PC experience with your phone alone plugged into a monitor. So we've got both of these things running here side by side, and we're going to take a look at each one of them, what it allows you to do, and how it works. And then we'll sort of talk about why you might choose to use each one of these. So as you can see here on the left, this is Microsoft's Your Phone application. And uh, I'll start off by telling you, um, in order to use it, you do have to sign into a Microsoft account. Now, some of you may already have a Microsoft account. You're already signed into it on your computer. I am personally using my Windows 10 PC as a local account. I don't want Microsoft snooping around at what I've got going on. I delete or I uninstall telemetry apps and everything else that I can just to try to keep the big data collection companies out of my business. So as such, I was a little on the pissy side for actually in, uh, having to use a Microsoft account to access a simple phone app. Um, now, Samsung does have a relationship with Microsoft. In other words, the uh, my companion, my my your phone companion app was already pre-installed on my Samsung S10. It was already there. I didn't have to do anything to get to it, right? So, um, if you were to look, I'd already they call it linked to Windows, right? Inside of my phone, this was already built into it. So this isn't something I had to install. This isn't something that I had to do anything with. Uh, it was just there. And it's powered by your phone, the Your Phone Companion um, app for Microsoft. So it was already built in. If you have an older Samsung phone or an iOS phone, uh, I believe there are other Android devices that are supported. But that's neither here nor there. You can go ahead and look at the specs. But it's important to understand that there is a synergy between uh, Samsung and Microsoft that's sort of making this possible. And later on, currently in the slow ring, I think, releases of Windows 10, then uh, they actually have the ability to run your Android apps that you have on your phone inside of this window as well. Now, I don't, I am not part of the uh, beta testing group for that, so I've got what's currently available today to everybody. And we're going to go through that. Samsung DeX is a completely different thing altogether. This is sort of an add-on to try to communicate with your phone, while DeX itself is a complete reimagined operating system that uses your phone to simulate what is essentially a, a desktop windowing type environment. And we're going to get back to this one as well. This, again, is only available on certain uh, Samsung phones. Uh, most of the newer ones, I think back to maybe the S8 or the S9, have DeX available in some degree or another. But this is something that obviously if you have iOS or you have an older Android phone or a non-Samsung Android phone, DeX isn't even in the, in the cards for you. Your phone is as good as it gets. But if you've got the option and you have the tools and you have everything already, then let's, let's, put, the, uh, let's put the two contenders to the test and see which one you would rather probably use. Let's start with your phone. Let's bring that kind of front and center here. So your phone offers a handful of options. We'll start off with calls because I can't do it. Uh, I do not have Bluetooth on my PC, so there's no way for me to engage or test that. However, if you do have Bluetooth, that may be an option for you. Making and receiving calls here on your desktop via your phone could be useful. Phone screen is a one-to-one -one mirroring of your phone, right? So 
uh, anything you could do on your phone, you can do here. It's really a literally just a screen mirroring going on. And so what you see here is exactly what uh, would be seen on your phone. That, of course, includes notification uh, pull downs, right, as well as all of your other um, all of your other sorts of things that you would normally do with your phone. It's just it's like your remote controlling your phone, but you can see it. There are photos. Photos are exactly what you think. Uh, it actually accesses the uh, default camera folder on your phone. And so you can have access to your photos. We'll go into each of these areas a little bit more. Messages taps your default SMS messaging app. And this is not a, a quick process, and I'm not sure why that is, but it is. Uh, so you have access to your uh, messages, and you can send and receive SMS messages, which is which is pretty, that's pretty cool, right? Um, I have to blur some of this stuff out, I guess. But uh, yeah, so having access to your SMS is actually pretty cool. Martha McSally really wants, uh, really wants to talk to me, it looks like. Uh, he crafted the CARES Act, of course. So what you have me notice here is that you can't actually do anything with them. Like I can't right click and delete them. I can't swipe them to get rid of them. It's all read only, and that maybe that's not necessarily a bad thing. Although I would really like to get this these Martha McSally ones off of my off of my screen to get to the good stuff. But what can you do? Last but not least are your notifications. So you could of course see these if you go to your phone screen and uh, do a pull down here. You can see some of the notifications. But these are. Um, these are really sort of your app level notifications. You'll notice that the OS level notifications are not there, right? So this is an app. This is a this is a system level notification, system level notification, system level notification, um, and of course, uh, if I refresh them, right? I don't know why this this uh, SMS one isn't on my phone screen. Interesting. Anyway, so uh, now this one, you actually can clear your notifications. So I'm going to clear these. I think there may be a disconnect here. This is not, this is all very experimental. I'm telling you, um, look how long this is taking to actually do this, right? To handle these notifications to be cleared. The, this is actually an older notification from earlier in the day that I've already cleared. So I think there may be a disconnect there. So, of course, the most useful piece of this equation is going to be using it to remote control your screen. Let's see if the notifications has refreshed. I clear all, I hit refresh, let's see what happens. Okay, well, so maybe this, uh, maybe this isn't the greatest tool after all, right? But I will explain one thing to you, though, is that um, this is all being done wirelessly. Right. So you didn't get to watch the setup of this, but this your phone app is all working completely wireless to my phone. They do have to be both on the same Wi-Fi network or on the same local area network. So I couldn't have my phone at the office and reach out through this application to get there. But this does it wirelessly, which is def there's value to that. Right. I hate plugging in my phone. I've got I've invested hundreds of dollars in wireless chargers and, and, and all of this stuff. I do not want to plug my phone in which is unfortunately what DEX requires. But this your phone, if you need quick access to your messages, just for fun, I'm gonna reach over to my phone. And it's interesting, I do not think that, um, you know what, just to make sure, I'm gonna unplug DEX, and I'm gonna make sure that for whatever reason, um, this isn't interfering. Let me do a refresh here, because I see, I see something slightly different here. All right, so I'm going to nuke, let's see. Oh, you know what? Those are, I think, are coming in as spam. That's the difference. So they're being pre-marked as spam on my phone, but they're not being marked as spam inside of the Your Phone. That's the difference I'm seeing. Let me go back to my notifications. I still feel like we're definitely disconnected here somewhere along the way. All right, so let's, uh, let's not focus on what doesn't work so well. Let's talk about what does work. Messages, of course, uh, obviously, there's some value in having that uh, working and up to date. Now, photos, to me, this is, a, this is a big deal, right? A lot of times, I'll snap a picture with my camera, and uh, on, the, on the phone, of course, and I'll want that picture to do something on my computer with it, crop it, 
change it, memify it, whatever I decide I want to do with it. But to actually dump the picture off the phone, you can either upload it to your photos or do something like that. Uh, it, it would be nice if I could just grab this thing and, um, and make a copy of it without actually having to make a round trip to my phone. So I will save that picture locally and I will bring it up on my other screen here. Just a minute, that went to my pictures. Yeah, there we go. This is from the uh, old 80s miniseries V, for those of you who are wondering uh, why this guy is clawing his face off. I took that off of my uh, monitor I was watching it the other day. So yeah, now I have a local copy of the picture, and I didn't have to do anything weird to get it. Uh, so that's kind of nice. There's a share in here as well. Um, not super useful because I don't use Microsoft apps. But anyway, uh, it does work and it does work very, very well. You can also drag and drop it onto your desktop or drop it into a folder. You don't have to go through that complex area, which makes that actually really, really nice. If I want to just grab this, drop it on my desktop. Uh, obviously, my main desktop is off screen, but uh, it's quick. It's easy. It's it's easy to get to photos. I can sit here and pop through them really fast. That there's value in that to me, for sure. Of course, the phone screen, we already sort of went over this. Um, this is your full-blown remote. And notice how long it takes to get there. I mean, I find that interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything here... Oh, it thinks I'm talking. Uh, everything here works exactly as you would hope it would work. So you can open up your apps. It, it literally, listen, it's just like you're on your phone, right? So, And that's the sales point, your phone on your computer. Very cool. So that is what your phone does for you. But what about Dex? Now again, I have to plug my phone in to get Dex to pop up, which in itself is less pleasant to me. I don't want to plug in my phone if I don't have to, because like I said, I'm not a fan. I also have to go over to my phone and confirm. I have to hit start now on my phone. Right? Whereas your phone, I could pull it up, my phone could be literally in my pocket, and I could get to your phone very, very easily by, um, by simply using the app on Windows. So there's definitely value here. Dex is harder to start. Now you would expect, though, once you start Dex, you don't really have to restart it again, or you could leave it minimized or whatever, as long as your phone's plugged in. And your phone is charging while this is going on, too, so that's a positive. So as you can see here, they've really tried hard to make Dex a PC-like experience. And simple things that you are familiar with, such as uh, your, your home button, your back button, your apps button, right? All of these things are comfortable and they're here and available. You don't really have to relearn anything. Over here, we have our notifications, which, by the way, is actually accurate. You can see all the notifications as they appear, and they should appear. And you can actually select your notif certain notifications within this bar. And you can expand or contract this, so you can actually see the same sorts of things you would see along the top of your phone. Again, very similar to the way your phone was handling um, showing things to you by mirroring your screen you're getting this just in a slightly different way. And again, you can also uh, take a peek and get to your standard, your standard items here. All right, and over here, let's see what else we have. So there's labs, there's an on-screen keyboard uh, where you can bring the keyboard up on your phone. I'm not sure why you would wanna do that. Um, labs gives you a couple of items where you can reopen the last app. These are experimental features just like every other labs. And of course you can control your audio from here and take a screenshot, blip, nice. And so I can now open it in my gallery and look, it's my gallery app, exactly the way I would wanna use it, but uh, it's kind of weird, that's an inception thing. And of course you can open up your calendar and everything else. All right, so some of these items uh, are essentially windowed versions of your existing apps, such as uh, settings or gallery, the Brave browser, right? So these are essentially your Android apps put in a windowed format. Now, there's to me, there's a lot of value in keeping. It's not just a matter of being able to open one item at a time, 
right? So I can open up Twitter, right? I, I, I multitask. I work in a multitasking scenario, right? So being able to have several windows open, being able to get to various things quickly and easily all on the screen at the same time, there's super value add in that for me, right? So I could go in and I could open up uh, Boost, which is my my client for um, accessing Reddit, right? So I can go to Oculus Quest. And it's busy doing its thing in the background. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Oh, there it goes. It's just, just parsing. So I've got that running. I've got several apps running at a time. Earlier DEXs uh, on lesser phones, I believe you would not be able to open multiple apps at the same time. You could only open a set number like two. I do not know where the limit is. So let's see if we can find out. Let's open the calculator. Let's open, um, I don't know, will the camera app actually open? I never really actually thought to open that. Oh, there I am. Hey now. All right, so you can actually open the camera app and take pictures. Um, what else can I open? That's, I'm just kind of curious just how far this goes. Um, let me see. Amazon. All right, look at this. I've got, um, I got six apps open here and there. It's all still moving along pretty well, if I do say so myself. How are we doing here? Everything's nice and speedy still. Yeah, not bad at all. So, um, and of course you can go, you know, you can make it full screen. So now you've got all that space to work with. I'll tell you what, if you're a traveler and I've used, um, I've used decks on the road and being able to just take a little portable monitor with me and plug this directly in without having to have a PC or anything and get a PC like experience is absolutely, is absolutely fantastic for me. Of course, I can make this as big as I want. I can take up all 4K of my uh, my monitor, and that's uh, that's that's great. I mean, how much fun is this? I mean, to me, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people don't really think about their phone choices. They think Android or they think iOS. It's like, um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to run here. Um, someone's going to ask about games, but I really don't think I've got any games on here. I don't do a whole lot. I do have this scramble game, I guess. Picks puzzle. Not a lot going on. I know I'm boring. Call of Duty app. Bank stuff. I don't do a lot of gaming on my phone anymore. Um, hmm. I got Dragon Slayer. Well, I guess we could try that out. See how that looks. Ah, can't show more than five apps at the same time. Well, that was weird. I thought I had six open here. All right, well, I don't have any audio playing, but I can at least... Um, oh, I don't think it's being recorded, though. I can hear it in my headset, though. You can't hear it. Too bad for you. This is moving along all right. I mean, this game is very um, very sensitive to... Uh, oh, please, I don't want the tutorial. Believe me, I've played more Dragons there than I care to admit. And blah, blah, blah. It actually does it play it's actually moving along just fine. Be curious to play like Call of Duty Mobile on here and see what that looks like. Yes. Yeah, knows correct answer when told. Two point oh knowledge. Yes, I know. I believe me, I know. Oh, that was just the uh, that was just the teaser. Yeah, works fine. Not bad, <laughs> not bad at all. It actually, I've never actually played a game through decks. I usually am just working. So, how cool! All right, so there you go. I mean, that's decks in a nutshell. Now, one thing I did not explore was actual Samsung Dex apps. So I do know that there are certain apps um, that are a little more conducive to Dex mode, or they have Dex modes built into them. And honestly, I a lot of these are just standard stuff. So for a lot of people, Microsoft Word would be very important to have on the road, right? Can I get that? Can I grab that? I guess I'd have to probably do it through the store. 
let's do it. We're already here, right? Having the Office apps on your on your phone, right, uh, would be useful for pretty much anybody doing business. Close some of these other windows. Bloop. Maybe it's only five visible at the same time. I don't know. Very impressive, though. All right, let's get this open here. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. What do you want to bet they're going to want me to sign into Microsoft, like, right away? I may already have something configured on here like that. We'll see. Uh, use Word read-only mode. Oh, great. First month is free. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Yeah, you can trust me. No, don't send any data. Thank you. All right, so let's open up something heavier. No, I don't want to do anything. Great. So I guess, um, hmm. can I, yeah, I can't really do anything in here. Well, so much for that. Open other documents. Um, do I have anything on OneDrive? Probably not. I have a document in here. Hope there's nothing embarrassing on here. I'll have to nuke this. Ah, this is a test. To edit and save, you need 365. But at least you can open it and read it. That's something. Yeah, great. Everybody wants a monthly subscription out of your pocket, huh? All right. Well, that's Dex. I mean, uh, and I got to say, um, it's it's pretty impressive. Obviously, you can do a lot more with this. It's a lot more conducive to your regular workflow. Again, maybe your phone is all you got, right? I mean, if you have an iPhone, if you have an older Android, you don't have um, you don't have uh, what you need, then this this might be it. If you can't do Dex, this is your next best bet. It's free, of course. It's pretty easy to get started with. Um, I almost feel like I should play Dragon's Lair on here, to be uh, to be fair, right? By the way, I do notice that the mouse wheel lets you roll through these. Swiping, for some reason, is just kind of hit and miss. But, um, there we go. Let's see. That's going to put a nice little tiny window. Make this bigger. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. I'm going to do it here, too. All right, enough of that. Well, there you have it, folks. Your phone for Windows, excuse me, for Windows 10 versus Samsung DeX's package available on Samsung premium devices. I hope you enjoyed this look and the comparison. And uh, we may take another look at your phone when the new features drop because being able to do... Um, uh, being able to do app running natively versus doing it on a phone screen might really uh, might really change the change the direction of the war, if you will. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Shane Armand Rowe. Please subscribe, like this video, hit that little bell, get notified of all the fun new content that I might bring to you in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching. I am Shane Armand Rowe.